you can see that this is a linear equation 3x minus 2y is equal to 2. Here you can see that x and y are the two variables. So this is a linear equation in two variables. Now these can be solved algebraically or you can say by the substitution or the elimination method and also by the graphical method. And you know how to plot an equation on the graph. Let's plot this equation on the graph as well. For that what will we need? We will need x and y values so that we can plot those points on the graph. So let's make y the subject of this equation. You can see we took this 3x to that side and it became negative. Now you can see that y has a coefficient minus 2. But we need to bring the coefficient to 1. So we have to divide this minus 2 from these elements. So we can write y is equal to 2 by minus 2 minus 3x by minus 2. This is what we can write. Or y is equal to 2 by minus 2 gives you what? Minus 1. And minus, minus 3 by 2x. Or what you can write? You can write minus 1, minus, minus, plus 3 by 2x. So you can arrange it also if you want. 3 by 2x minus 1. So making y as the subject of this linear equation, you get y is equal to 3 by 2x minus 1. Right? So now if we sub put any values for x here, you will get the subsequent values for y. So let us do that. Let us take randomly any three numbers for x, say 0, 2 and 4. You can take any random numbers you want, but remember that the values for y should come in whole numbers. So let us substitute these for x y is equal to 3 by 2 x minus 1, putting 0 in the place of x, 3 by 2 into 0 minus 1. Now anything into 0 is 0, so 0 minus 1 we get minus 1. Now let us take 2 in the place of x, so y is equal to 3 by 2 into 2 minus 1. Now 2 and 2 gets cancelled, so 3 minus 1 gives you so when x is 2, y is also 2 for this equation. Now when x is 4, y is equal to 3 by 2 into 4 minus 1. So what happens? 2 and 4 gets cancelled here. And 3 into 2 gives us 6. 6 minus 1, 5. So when x is 4, y is 5 for this equation. So we have these points as x, y so that we can plot these points and graph this equation on the graph paper. So let us plot these points. 0, comma, minus 1. Can you plot 0, comma, minus 1 here? 0 on the x-axis and minus 1 on the y-axis. So we get this point. Let us name this as A. Now the next point is 2, comma, 2. That means 2 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis. Let us name this as B, 2 comma 2. And the third point is 4 comma 5. That means 4 on the x-axis and 5 on the y-axis. And let us name this as C. So A, B, C, these points, what do they show? They are the solutions for that linear equation. Now let us draw a straight line or you can say let us draw a line that joins these points. You can see that this line joins A, B and C. This is a straight line and we know that all the solutions of a linear equation always lie on a same straight line. So this line denotes 3x minus 2y is equal to 2. This is the equation of this line. Now do you remember slope of a line? You have already studied what is a slope of a line. Let's recall. You can say that slope is a measure of steepness of a straight line. How steep it is. And how do we calculate slope? We calculate slope. Slope is the relative change in y coordinates of the points on the line with respect to change in the x coordinates of those points. 
or in simple words you can say slope is equal to change in y by change in x for any two points on the line so here also you can see we have a line and we have three points so if you take any two points and subtract their y coordinates and divide them by subtracting their x coordinates you will get the slope of that line now every time you have to calculate slope like that only is there any other way well i'll tell you that slope can be found out even without graphing that equation it is hidden somewhere in the equation itself i will show you where see we had this equation and we made y the subject we got y is equal to 3 by 2x minus 1 well this is in the form of y is equal to m x plus c you can see that y represents y here 3 by 2 represents m x represents x and minus 1 represents c so whenever you have such an equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c you can find out slope from the equation itself but which is the slope here well the m is the slope in this case so if m is the slope and comparing this equation with this can you tell me which will be the slope here in this equation 3 by 2 because this represents m and m is the slope of this equation so whenever you have any equation you can just make y the subject of this equation and see whether it is in the form of mx plus c and m will represent slope of this line so you can see that the slope of this equation is 3 by 2 well let us check with the graph also see we know that slope is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 for any two points having the coordinates x1 y1 and x2 y2 so here let's take any two points say a and b here what is x1 x2 and y1 y2 let's take a as x1 y1 and b as x2 y2 now we have slope is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so we have 2 minus 5 by 2 minus 4 What do you get? Two minus five is minus three, and two minus four is minus two, and minus minus gets cancelled. We get three by two. Well, this is what we were getting. Three by two in the case of slope. Now, what about y-intercept? You, we knew from the equation itself that intercept was minus one. Look at this. Look at this line. Where is it cutting the y-axis? You can see. that it is cutting the y axis at the point minus 1 so even without looking at the graph i told you that it from the equation itself you came to know that the y intercept is minus 1 so now you know how to find out the slope and intercept recall y is equal to mx plus c if any equation is in this form or even if it is not in this form you can make y as the subject and create this form and then you can easily know that the coefficient of x will be m that is the slope and plus c that is the c will be the y intercept now this c can be positive or negative but we will include the sign whenever we will write y intercept now you know how to find out the slope and y intercept even without looking at the graph from the equation itself so tell me what will be the slope and y intercept of this equation 3y plus 5 is equal to 0 do it yourself first of all we have to make y the subject of this equation let's do it 3y is equal to 0 minus 5 that means minus 5 now making y the subject minus 5 by 3 but there is a problem right even while making y the subject of this equation we are not getting this format we are getting y is equal to minus 5 by 3 you can say this minus 5 by 3 represents c but what about mx how will we get that now you know that adding zero with anything does not disturb the equation you can add zero to anything it will not change the value so if we add zero and multiply this zero with x will it change the value of this equation no you know that y is equal to minus 5 by 3 Plus zero into anything gives you zero. 
So I can write it in this way. Now, what if I interchange their places like this? Y is equal to 0 into x minus 5 by 3. I can write it like this. What I was writing before was minus 5 by 3 plus 0 into x. This is not a decimal point. I have written this for multiplication. So 0 into x minus 5 by 3, I have just interchanged their places. Now can you say it is in this format or not? Well, yes, you can say that y is equal to 0 into x plus minus 5 by 3. Then it is in this format, y is equal to m x plus this represents c. So now you have m and c both. Well, you can see that the coefficient of x is m, which represents slope. So here, 0 represents m, that is the slope, and minus 5 by 3 represents c, that is the y-intercept. So you can say that the slope is 0 and the y-intercept is minus 5 by 3. So this is how you find the slope and y-intercept even without graphing the equation on a graph paper.